Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use variance function using calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. As you can see here in my table, I have the column variance item sold and in my graph, I have a bar which shows quantity sold variance over here. But if I'll show you my data, then you can see here that we do not have any column over here which has a variance data related to sold item. Instead of that, we just have a column quantity sold. But using this quantity sold, we have created the calculated field in Looker which basically shows this quantity sold variance and this variance item sold in our visualization widget. So in this video, we are going to apply or use the variance function in a calculated field within our chart or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the variance function using the calculated field. And before we use this function, let's understand the variance function. So variance is a aggregation function in Looker and in Looker variance function helps us to return the variance of a set of a number. Now as you can see over here, I have given the syntax of the variance also. So you, for using the variance function, you have to give this variance function first and then you have to give a numerical field so that this function can return the variance of a set of numbers. Now let's go and create a calculated field using variance in our table. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on edit button over here and I'm going to remove this variance item sold and quantity sold variance in my graph and in table. Okay so first I'll select this table and I'll remove this variance item sold then I'm going to select this graph and I'm going to remove this quantity sold variance. Okay. Now in our data, we have this quantity sold column and this column contains the number of items sold for each and every category on a daily basis. So one of the simplest way to add the variance in your table or in your visualization widget is that you can click on add a metric and then you have to select a field and then within this metric you can see this pencil button you can click over here and you can select this variance once you do that then you will see that you have a column quantity sold over here we have not changed the name yet but you will have the variance which is getting plotted on this graph what we can do is that we can change the name here we can say var okay and this bar is reflecting the variance for each and every category similarly for this table also we can select this table and then within this metric we can add the item sold or sold quantity and then we can change it from sum to variance as an aggregation and we'll give the name as var okay now this is the way we basically create a metric for a particular visualization visit but what if you have to create a field, calculated field, which you can use in multiple visualization visit. So in the first way where you have created this metric variance, you have to go for each and every visualization visit and then you have to create this variance, right? Now if you create a field, calculated field basically, which basically calculates the variance of a column, then you can use that calculated field in each and every visualization visit in your report or dashboard. So to add a calculated field, what you need to do is that you can go and click over here on add a field in this data section. Once you click on add a field, then Looker will allow you to create a new calculated field. And the first thing that you need to give in the calculated field is the name. So I'm going to give variance of items sold. as the field name and then I have to input the formula. So for inputting the formula I have to give the function name which is variance. As soon as you write var you will see that the IntelliSense of Looker will allow you to select this variance function. Once you select this variance function then you have to give the numeric field. For us the numeric field is quantity sold so I'll select quantity sold and then you will see that Looker is evaluating this formula as soon as it turns green with white tick. You can see that formula syntax is valid. Then you can go ahead and click on save. 
Once you click on save, then this calculated field will be saved in your data and then you can click on finish. As soon as you click on finish, you will see that you have a new column or a field named with variance of items sold and you can specifically use this field in each and every visualization visit in your report. So as I have used this in my table, similarly I can use this in my graph also over here. Okay, so I can select variance of items sold, right? So let's remove this var and resize these columns. Now you have to note that while you are using this variance function in Looker, the numerical field over here cannot be an aggregated field or the result of an aggregation function. So you have to make sure that the field which you are using over here is an expression or a numerical field. Now the another way of using variance for a specific graph or chart or visualization visit is that what you can do is that you can click on that visualization visit and then you have to go to setup. Within that setup, you have to go to your metric section. You have to click on add a metric and then you have to click on create a field. Once you click on create a field, then it will again ask you for the name. So let's give the name as variance 2. Okay. And then you have to give the formula. So again, you will give the formula as variance and then you have to give the numerical field, which is quantity sold. And then Looker will evaluate this formula and it will show that the formula syntax is valid then you can click on apply and as soon as you click on apply you will see that a new column is appearing on your visualization visit but this variable 2 or sorry variance 2 is out of scope for other visualization visit this var2 calculated field or item which i have created is specifically created for this visualization table or this visualization visit so that is the difference between creating a metric for a specific visualization visit and creating a calculated field with the functions. So this is how basically you can use variance function in a calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. Happy learning and see you in the next video.